Welcome to Brown's Rod and Custom, your home for street rods, muscle cars, and Volkswagen content. This is my dad, Big Ron. He's our body man and fabricator. This is my beautiful wife, Megan, our editor-in-chief and supporter. And this is me, Adam, the designer and mechanic for our projects. If you find our videos helpful, like and subscribe for more content. Hey everybody, welcome back to Brown's Rod and Custom. Wanted to uh, ask you guys if you could do me a favor. Um, if you're watching these videos and, and checking out the channel and you like what you see, if you guys could hit the subscribe button for me, we would really appreciate that. Uh, we are working our way to trying to get monetized so that we can build bigger, better cars and more builds and so on and so forth and keep doing this. And uh, that would help us a lot um, if you guys could do that for us. So. Um, that's really all I got for you. Really appreciate all of you. Stay tuned. We've got lots of cool builds coming. Lots of things starting to happen on a lot of different cars. So it won't just be the thing. It's going to be the thing, the 40 Ford, the Apache. There's going to be a lot of things happening. So just stay tuned and uh, I will try my best to get you as many videos as I can, uh, including Don's 1957 Chevy two-door post uh, that we're working on. Uh, there's a lot going on over there too. So Stay tuned, guys. Thanks for everything. We really appreciate you. Have a great night. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Browns Rod and Custom. Wanted to uh, give you an update on the thing here. Uh, today, you'll see in another video, but I, uh, I took the front bumper and uh, used the Bauer surface conditioning tool and took it down to bare metal. Um, hoping maybe tomorrow to weld it up and get that all kind of figured out a little bit. Um, the other thing is I got a, a notice from uh, the thing shop that my uh, emergency flasher relay and the headlight low beam relay and the 30 fuses, the white ones, should be here tomorrow. So that's exciting. So hopefully tomorrow I can go ahead and just bing bang boop, swap all that out, plug everything in, see what happens. Go from there. Um, hopefully it fixes it. and. Uh, you know that would be amazing but we shall see so there's that so that's looking like tomorrow will be for me anyway will be a thing day uh, working on the electric probably working on the uh, bumper a little bit as well uh, the 40 it's been a very productive day on the 40 uh, we got slowed down quite a bit trying to find a fitting I think we went to every part store in Florida but uh, actually it's this one here that goes into the radiator there for the transmission and cooler lines. But the tranny cooler lines are in. And uh, so we got that there. I've got the vacuum line to here. I just have to hook it up. I'll probably do that here in a second. And uh, Ron got the uh, speedometer cable hooked up. And did you do neutral safety switch? Not yet. Not yet. We're still waiting to do neutral safety, still waiting to do exhaust. Uh, currently, we are working on putting the low car shifter in here. So, as you guys can see, that's what we have. So we're going to cut out that white line there and uh, see where that puts us. That should put us in a really good place for uh, fitment for the shifter as well. So that's another good thing. But that's where we're at, guys. Um, these will go on here probably tomorrow and uh, so on and so forth. I mean, literally, when I say we went to every parts store, I literally mean that. Uh, we lost probably three, four hours driving around trying to find a fitting and lines and everything else. It looks like uh, a lot of these parts stores are not carrying brass anymore or starting to get rid of brass, and that's not a great thing for all of us. But. Uh, it was always nice you could go in if you had one but you didn't exactly know what size and this and the other you could go in and kind of match it up. It seems like now that's going away. Uh, whew, excuse me guys. And uh, you know, so that's where that's at. But that's where we're at. We are rocking. Um, tell you what, I'll show you the bumper if I can get to it. Hold on one second here guys.
Here's our bumper. So we're bare metal, ready to go. We got our brackets ready to weld on. We're rocking. So we're looking good, guys, on that. And that'll be good to get the front bumper on here. That's all the body panels are on at that point, and we can get the horn hooked up and all the things. And that's exciting. Um, but otherwise, that's where we're at. Uh, kind of excited to get those electrical parts just to see if that'll actually work, you know? Kind of curious. I think it'll work. I think every wire is right. I have uh, continuity tested them. I've triple checked them to our wiring diagrams. Everything seems right. I don't see any damage on the wires. I mean, in theory, it should work. So, anyway, see where it all goes. Well, guys, I will come back to you here in a little bit once we get the shifter in, and uh, if we get the shifter in, and uh, bring you that, and uh, give you a first look, and we'll go from there. Thanks for watching Brown's Rod and Custom. Please like and subscribe. Okay, guys, welcome back. So, we got this uh, cut. Had to trim up the frame a little bit here, uh, just a hair, just for fitment, right down in there. Uh, but all in all, it's just about ready for uh, for the shifter to go in. We've had it in and out umpteen times now. Um, really, it's just getting late, so that's really the reason we're stopping. But uh, tomorrow morning, we'll come back out here and. Uh, Get the shifter mounted up, get the exhaust on, neutral safety switch wired up, all the things, and uh, we'll get rolling here. Now, I just hooked up the vacuum line for the uh, transmission, got that all in. Um, we're looking pretty good, I think. Um, you know, I don't see any reason why tomorrow, the next day, we couldn't be uh, starting to set up, possibly taking it for a ride around the block, hit the shift. So, see what happens there, guys. Um, but again, tomorrow as well, parts are coming for the thing, which is huge. See, uh, we'll roll the dice on that, get our Magic 8 ball out and shake it and see what it says. Will it work? Maybe, maybe not, probably not, you never know. So that's, uh, that's that. If it does work, uh, that would be amazing. That means we have headlights, taillights, turn signals, um, all the things. So, hazards. And it's pretty basic stuff. I shouldn't be having these issues. So, that's why I think it's something in the relay. Um, otherwise, we're going to push this monster in and uh, see you guys in the morning for another fun-filled day here. And uh, see if we can't get this tranny buttoned up. And done. Uh, you guys probably saw a short. That was for uh, about radiator hoses. That was for Joe Hard 1014. Uh, buddy, I uh, if you're watching this, <laughs> we uh, literally, that's the one thing on this whole car I probably didn't write down. Uh, was that. So... I apologize for that, but I think the part numbers I gave you might actually put you in a direction. So hopefully that works out for you. Anyway, guys, I'm going to jump off here. Please like and subscribe to the channel. We are at 985. We are 15 away from our goal of 1,000 subscribers. We are so close. You guys are really helping us out. Thank you so much. Um, we're gonna get this thing done here. I gotta go pick up Megan here in about 20 minutes. So, anyway, guys, have a great night, and we'll talk at you tomorrow.